2015 has been declared International Year of Light and Light-Based Technologies by the UN General Assembly. To mark this initiative, the Commissioner of Irish Lights and Concern Worldwide are linking up to draw attention to the key role of light in saving and improving people's lives on both sea and land. We were surprised to find that Concern and Irish Lights use much the same technology and indeed for much the same goals because we share the goals of making people's lives safer and better. I found it fascinating to discover, like Concern, Irish Lights are using solar technology to help people. And in Concern's case, some of the most vulnerable people in the world. Lighting technology is an obvious but often overlooked element of safety at sea. The real lighting technology breakthrough for maritime use came over 100 years ago. The biggest development in terms of trying to get a long range light was the invention of the Fresnel lens. They were really the edge of engineering of their day. It's only now indeed that we're moving to replace them because light has improved in terms of use of LED light sources. So typically nowadays we are moving to replace those, those Fresnel lenses, but only now in 2015 is that work ongoing. Access to electricity is really important for concern and the people who are trying to help. Light is really important from an operational and safety perspective. This is especially true after disasters such as the Nepal and Haiti earthquakes. LED technology offers many advantages, being more environmentally friendly, more reliable and easier to maintain. But one benefit in particular is critical from the seafarer's perspective. Particularly as you're approaching a harbour, there, 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 there's a mass of lights in the background and you're trying to pick out the aids to navigation from that background. The LED light has a much crisper light. It's not a filament lamp, but it is a far crisper light. So it's much more apparent to the mariner in, in, in the first place. But because of the, the LED light source is more efficient and more reliable and indeed more environmentally friendly, we're making that change. And as we re-engineer our stations, we move to LED light sources. A few years ago, a concern issued a challenge to FlexiBase Solar to come up with the world's first five euro solar light. The specification was quite simple. We needed a robust, small, easy to use device. After a number of push types, this is the final product. This light will provide about eight hours of light after an eight hour charge. It's designed to light a small room with 24 lumens. And if it's looked after, it lasts about three years. Concern has been using its solar lights in countries like Sierra Leone and Liberia and used approximately 10,000 in the 2013 Philippines Typhoon Haiyan response and a further 10,000 in the 2015 Nepal earthquake relief effort. What we're giving out right now is mosquito nets to protect against dengue fever and some of the other illnesses here. Uh, sleeping mats, blankets, tarpaulin. Uh, we have jerry cans for collecting fresh water behind me. Laundry soap, personal soap, solar lamps, which are really popular with the people here because there's no electricity at night. For over 1.5 billion people around the world with no electricity, nighttime means either darkness or the dim glow of an unhealthy and dangerous kerosene lamp or candle. Such poor quality lighting has a dramatic impact on health and educational opportunities and on safety and security, particularly of women and children. The solar technology that we use makes a huge difference to the lives of the people in developing countries. Concerns delighted to be able to showcase that along with Irish Lights. Light, I suppose, is what has guided the mariners from the earliest times, you know, from navigating by a star to navigating by a lighthouse. Light is so important to, 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 to the mariner. It's one of the things that we do celebrate in this UNESCO Year of Light.